Hello, I'm the fanfic critic. I read it, you listen. Okay, I have read some interesting fanfics in my lifetime, but this one, I don't know where to start. It's called Mr. Dink's Obsession by Wisdom Windu, and it's a fanfic for the TV show Doug, which is a cartoon show that used to air on Nickelodeon in the 90s. I grew up watching the show. I used to love the show when I was a kid. And I'm not the one who found this fanfic. It was actually my sister who found it. So let's take a peek at this story, shall we? Mr. Dink's Obsession. What happens when Mr. Dink realizes Doug is trying to send him a secret message? Mr. Dink peeked over his fence to examine the funny's yard. It was dark outside and nothing was stirring, so he made his move and tossed over the suitcase he was carrying before hopping over himself. Immediately, he pressed himself against the frame of the house, shielding himself from the light of the street lamps. He didn't want to be seen, just in case his instincts turned out to be wrong and Doug hadn't really been sending him a secret code and messages. Sneaking around like this was embarrassing, but Mr. Dink had to take the risk because of importance but because of the importance of what he'd realized. Long ago, Doug had given Mr. Dink a key to his family's front door. It was for emergencies, and even though Mr. Dink wanted to tell the boy's parents or refuse the key outright, Doug made him promise to never say a word. When the time came, Mr. Dink would know when to use it, and Doug's parents couldn't know because they'd disapprove. Why? Mr. Dink had asked at the time, gripping Doug's hands earnestly in his own and pulling the boy forward. Doug's eyes were downcast. Mr. Dink gazed beneath the boy's furrowed brow to try to make eye contact, but Doug was lost in his own world. Douglas, if this is really for your own safety, then why would your parents disapprove? Because they're fools, Doug finally said. His face was pale and he stared directly into Mr. Dink's eyes, sending chills down the man's back. The desperate expression on his face betrayed the deeply troubled turmoil within. But just as quickly as it arrived, the storm passed and the boy looked incredibly relaxed, just as on the wonderful day they had met. Serenely, Doug stood from his knees and kissed Mr. Dink on the forehead. Are they having an affair? I know you'll ask to do... I know you'll do as I ask, Mr. Dink, because you're a beautiful man. He ran to leave. Wait, but you forgot, Mr. Dink yelled after him, but it was too late. The front door slammed behind the boy as he darted across the lawn towards his own home. Mr. Dink looked at what the boy had left, the key to his home, and the rose, he said, was for his girlfriend called Patty Mayonnaise. Funny, Mr. Dink had thought to himself at the time. Douglas always speaks of his Patty, but I've never met her. Is it possible that this rose was actually meant for me? Um, Mr. Dink? Doug's a boy. You're an adult. No, no. Anyway, he held it up. He held it up to his nose and, fo and fondly remembered the first time Doug had brought him flowers. But that was all in the past. Mr. Dink took the same key he had been keeping for years out of his pocket and used it on the front door, laying himself in quietly and breathing heavily under the stress and excitement of entering someone else's home uninvited. I understand now, Douglas, whispered Mr. Dink to himself as he wiped his brow with a handkerchief. He returned to the kerchief. Huh? Oh, they meant to put down handkerchief, but they forgot the first part of the word, so it just says kerchief. To his front pocket along with the key and pulled out a long kitchen knife. After studying its sharpness for a few minutes, he took out a fork and began licking his lips. Okay. Message received, he said, and stared at the ceiling above him, where he knew Doug was peacefully asleep in his bed, at the foot of which must be his trusty pooch, pork chop. Pork chop! Mr. Dink groaned loudly. Pork chop was the whole reason he was here. For pork chop alone, but only as a favor to Doug. It was what Doug had secretly wait, it was what Doug had secretly been telling him all this time. How could he have been so blind as to not realize it? 
and how rude he was to keep the boy waiting year after year as he ignorantly overlooked the boy's secret coded message. Pork chops. Mr. Dink had always loved them. In fact, they had been his favorite dish since he and Miss and the Mrs. had their had them on their honeymoon, and it was the first dish she ever cooked for him. And she continued to cook for him each month, munch, m month, up until her death. A tear formed in Mr. Dink's eyes as he remembered these things and opened his trunk. Tippy had meant the world to him. Ever since she went missing a year ago, almost to the day, he had been the same. She just vanished mysteriously. And after months of searching, Mr. Dink finally lost hope. He took out what he had in his trunk. It was Mrs. Dink's wedding dress, and he rubbed the fabric against his cheek. Oh, Tippy, finally we can be together again thanks to this lovely, wonderful boy.